Okay, okay, let's try something new. What's up? It's your boy over here with another video. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I don't know about that. Anyways, today in this video, I'm going to have a little bit of a, I want to say a palate cleanser because we've been talking a lot about uh, professions and problems and stuff like that. So don't worry, I'm going to get back to that pretty soon. But I just said, hey, you know what? I haven't put up anything in quite a while. And um, some news came up regarding paladins. So let's go over it because uh, I think it's a, it's some good news. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so basically what Blizzard did is they put out a post saying, hey, you know what? We've, we've been noticing that paladin, uh, particularly retribution, sucks. And so we're going to completely uh, redo this thing uh, and, and hopefully fix it, right? So here's what they, what they said. Well met. We're doing a substantial rework to the Retribution talent tree in patch 10.0.7. Rebuilding the Retribution talent tree from the ground up means significant changes ahead. However... The talent tree itself will not be available in our first PTR build, so initial testing on the PTR will be missing important contacts. Nonetheless, we'd like to share our major goals for retribution with you. Okay, this is actually pretty good news. There, uh, <laughs> I'm going to preface by saying this. I am not a paladin expert. There's people that are way more uh, experienced and know what they're talking about. I just, all I can tell you is, I have a little bit played. Actually, my slash played on my Paladin is just under 30 days, which I think for someone that's only been playing for a couple of years, that's that's a good amount of, of play time for uh, and just retribution. I haven't done any uh, tanking or he, uh, very light healing, nothing really. Just I, I kind of dip my toe into healing, but uh, I found it very uh, not for me. Anyways. So I've been playing a lot of Retribution, and, I, and actually Retribution is my, I kind of want to say my second favorite class, first is Demon Hunter, but, you know, Retribution, uh, it's, you know, ex with all the memes and everything, it's always been one of my favorite, uh, uh, you know, classes, because it, it is plate, I love plate armor, that's my favorite type of armor, it's plate, uh, you know, big flaming swords, so slashing and dashing, uh, that's what I've always, um, uh, like, but <laughs> back to retribution. Uh, I've noticed definitely it's it's been lackluster for it's as flashy as it is, and you know as fantastic the uh, the fantasy behind it. Uh, you know sometimes you feel like you're hitting with a wet noodle, and you're like, my God, I have to stop DPSing just to he heal myself up, or else I'm just gonna get killed. And sometimes you do, right? <laughs> you just can't even keep up the healing. And you're like, man, do I really need to bubble? Yeah, I need a bubble if I don't want to die. And there's no, like, a disengage or, like, uh, shadow meld or anything like that that you can do. So you're like, I'm just going to die. Just kill me. Let me just respawn, whatever. Okay, so let's go into the points that they've highlighted here as far as to give us a preview of what they're going to do with, with the uh, with talent tree and with, this, with the spec. First off is Button Bloat. Retribution Paladins currently have a fairly large number of abilities, and some of these feel unnecessary and inefficient. We're working to tone this down and have a more focused set of abilities and cooldowns. Um, that's one thing, man, it depends really. There are some classes that I really like. They have a lot of ut utility. Demon Hunter has a little bit, little bit of utility. Not, not a little. It has a good amount, right? And it feels just enough for me to like, um, especially for group content, to have something to offer, but also personal utility. Quite frankly, that's why I uh, leave um, engineering on my on my main character because I love the utility it brings, you know. And um, having it a little more. I want to say, uh, would, would not not so much as they say bloat would be a nice thing. Uh, there's definitely things that I have to just put in my bars because you never know when you might need them or not. And sometimes they don't even go, go by use. If they can like make some passive or concentrate some, that would be fantastic. I think as far as keeping uh, all the classes streamlined with 
you know, the set base of abilities and the, and the set base of like that utility would be great. Stacking modifiers. There are currently several talents and abilities that provide stacking bonuses, which can make for a confusing and messy playstyle that deals extreme burst damage, but in return leaves you leaves your core abilities feeling unsatisfying and undertuned. We intend to significantly change this. We want your core abilities to feel good and powerful when used in all situations. This doesn't mean we're reducing all elements of burst damage, but we do want to make burst more purposeful and deliberate, while also allowing you options that provide sustained damage. Okay, right off the bat, this is definitely what I want because I understand uh, Paladin is a hybrid, right? That that has this healing type, like a, like a, like a battle medic, right? That you do damage and then you can heal. But oftentimes, especially when I'm doing solo content, I have to stop DPSing because all of a sudden my life is just starting. It just goes down, 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 down. And I'm like, this is this is upsetting. This is frustrating. Like I'm a plate class. I should be able to take a lot of a lot of bruising. My demon hunter kid has way more sustain than you know a, a paladin. I mean, come on. So I hate having to stop DPS and start to heal myself and flash heal and and stop doing damage while while my my um, the mobs just keep pounding me right. So I have to pop bubble or I have to go wings and it's like, okay, when I want to use wings, it's like for a boss or for, you know, a world boss or something, you know, that I feel it's going to be chunky. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull like 10 mobs, right? Boom, pull, pop my wings, uh, just make it rain holy power on the battlefield. Then yeah, make it more personal. But if, if I just, I'm not handling, let me, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm harvesting or gathering or just getting a, a, uh, an expedition pack or whatever it may be and all of a sudden I pull one two three mobs I don't want to have to go oh god now I have to pull wings I have to do this I have to blow all my cooldowns just to survive or else I'm gonna be like hitting you and then healing and then hitting you and healing uh, it's very annoying so if they can make it that you have more sustained just basic baseline that'd be great okay and here we go into survivability Retribution Paladins currently have one of the highest death rates <laughs> across all forms of content. For a plate-wearing class with hybrid healing, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> We're looking to strengthen them through a mixture of passive bonus and improvements to active abilities and cooldowns while keeping the degree of challenge that results from being a melee-based spec. Okay, this is just what I was talking about, right? It's like... <laughs> I didn't know this. Uh, apparently, paladins are super squishy. They have the most, as I see here, the, the highest death rates across all for, all forms of content. Okay, and again, for plate wearing class, uh, I don't know what that has to do with being a uh, hybrid healing, right? Like it's like maybe the, the way that they took it upon themselves is that since you do healing, um, or you know, off spec healing or whatever, however you call it. They like oh oh, but you're you're more squishy, right? You can't just sit there and heal heal heal, and nothing happens to you. You're gonna start taking damage. But again, like it says there, it doesn't feel right. So uh, with them fixing some passives um, and the cooldowns and all this kind of stuff, uh, it just goes back with just being able to, you know, do damage because you're a damage dealer, right? And you hate having to stop and heal yourself or or be like oh my god, I'm gonna about to die. Uh, yeah, this just goes with the other the other point. All right, man <laughs> maneuverability <laughs> yeah, Let's get some nitro on the on these uh, on these wheelchairs, right <laughs> some NOS Okay, uh, it says we recognize that there's an issue here and we hope to make some improvements However, we want to set clear expectations Retribution Paladins should not expect to gain the mobility of rogues um Honestly, I, I've never played a rogue. I, I, I vow to never play a rogue. Of course, they say never say never, but um, I don't. I don't know rogues for being for being very mobile. Demon hunters, yes. Uh, monks, right? Uh, with the movement they have. Uh, what else is a what? Else, what else has a movement? Well, plate. Mm, Death knights are super slow. But they still got a couple of movements. 
thingies, um, especially like when they can't be pushed back. I love that feature. Death's advance, right? Um, who else has mobility? Uh, well, shit. Um, warriors have sort of mobility. Like they can charge into another, uh, you know, charge into um, a mob. They also can leap. Oh, they also had that really cool uh, legendary in Shadowlands where you had two charges of of heroic leap. Oh my god, I wish that came back. That would have been so cool. Maybe it is back. I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I haven't even touched my, my warrior. But um, I, I'm not asking for a lot more mobility. It's just maybe having a few... A, maybe having three charges of um of the steed right or making it oh my god i remember in shadowlands you press that sucker and you could stay mounted on that little steed for like forever i remember just just pressing just you could charge all over the place that was pretty cool so maybe if not give it another charge maybe give it um maybe give it more more um Duration, but hey, any we'll take anything at this point, right? As far as maneuver, maneuverability. Okay, last but not least, utility. The changes that Dragonflight brought to Retribution have caused some conflict for players, forcing the Red Paladins to choose between providing benefits to their groups or benefits to themselves. This choice can be interesting, but due to the way this has historically worked for Paladins, it hasn't felt right in Dragonflight. So we're looking to make changes here that allow you to feel good and improve your own damage while also providing the group benefits that you're used to. We're also looking into additional utility improvements for Paladins during the 10.0.7 test cycle. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Huh. Well, I mean, for raids, they already provide, you know, either the movement speed aura or the, the damage reduction, right? Huh. And they and they have the 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 battle res back. I, mean, I don't. I haven't. I haven't played Paladin since before. So maybe y'all have a better idea what. Utility could be probably brought back or implemented for for paladins but uh, Oh my god, you know what would be so cool? Um, if you play, if you did uh, the last raid, which was a subbooker of the first ones You could get it as a paladin. I think it was only for healers. I'm not too sure but you get this 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 trinket or was it a ring? I can't remember if it was a ring or a trinket that uh, you can make that bubble, you know like Aladdin uh, Paladin. What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> Anduin. <laughs> I want to say Anduin and Paladin in the same, same breath. So Anduin, you know, he calls upon the light and he makes like this shield. That would be insane. Kind of like, you know, Death Knights in their, in their, in their bubble. You know, their uh, DMZ. What is that? What it called? Damage zone something? Can't remember exactly. That would be super cool, dude. Imagine you yourself as a paladin calling down on the light and you put a bubble on the area and it, you know, takes so much damage. Oh, that would be neat, dude. That would be sweet. Some kind of stuff like that. So, hey, Blizzard, if you're listening, put it in. Put it in the talents. That would be so fucking cool. Um, <laughs> but this is, the, this is probably the juicier one, right? The utility. I always like utility. Especially unique utility. That's kind of unique. Only like, I guess, like I said, uh, Death Knights have. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What else does it say? Yeah. Um. Whether it's you know, group or or benefit yourself. Maybe make it so that you can pick that the ones that you spec into the group one and make them like really powerful. That way, you like you're basically kind of like sacrificing yourself, you know, for the group. Make it all towards the group, um, or benefit yourself, but make it more powerful. So, you, so again, it goes with that safe sustain, with the survivability, uh, something like that, right? I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. <laughs> but uh, that's cool. Cool. So let's go over it real quick. So it says button bloat. Okay, I'm all cool for you know pruning the the spec, uh, making it more straightforward, 
while still leaving a little bit of, you know, complexity uh, with the thing. Um, maybe making it a little more fluid because I do, the, the the combo points that they call or you know the that you have to uh, generate these 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 points and then spend them maybe put a note in where you could um, you know add add one right instead of just having five you can go up to six kind of like evokers that you can have uh, I think max ranks and some of your spells or or you know the the region what are the little region thing little orbs right? Um, that would be cool. Uh, with the stacking modifiers, I have no clue what the hell they're talking about here. Um, again, it just goes with the pruning and just having your core abilities, you know, being satisfying, being cool to press instead of having to wonder whether or not, uh, let's say, oh, you're at 20 stacks, uh, it'll hit for the maximum amount. I can only, I can imagine, like, for, for Demon Hunters, right? You do your eye beam Oh, but you didn't have, you know, uh, I don't know, 20 stacks of fell rage or fell fury so now your eye beam goes instead of you know just deleting stuff in front of you yeah that's that's not cool survivability again just 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 let them hit hard let them hit hard and then super hard when do they pop their wings right and uh, some some kind of spells that like will do damage but have a little bit of leech or you know make your survival a little more that'd be cool Maneuverability, um, anything's good. I mean, I'm not looking for, honestly, I'm not looking for that much maneuverability. I'm pretty cool with my steed. That's enough for me. There would be something nice, uh, maybe like a leap or I don't know what they could probably put there. Something that could be on cooldown, sure, to help you when you have to do those moving mechanics. And utility, uh, they could really go hard on that one. And it looks like they're going to be putting a few in here or there for the actual test cycle. So all this is probably going to be ready for, I'm guessing, 10.1, which now I'm looking forward to. Okay, in the end, it says here, we look, we're looking forward to hearing your feedback on the points above, as well as anything else about retribution that you'd like to share. Thank you. So well, this is it. This is what I'm sharing with you, Blizzard. Uh, I'm cool with all these changes. And put that, uh, put that Paladin bubble in, please. That would be friggin' epic. Or you know what else would be super cool? Like, you could call on the Naru, right? Uh, like, kind of like, again, Death Knights, they call on their Frostworm to just, you know, everything, freeze everything on in front of them, right, for like 40, 50 yards. We could call in a, uh, a Naru, right? And they just blast like a solar beam in the center, center. And uh, like it's a big, uh, it could be like a solar beam, right? It's like a like a dispel, or something. Yes, make 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 cool stuff. Come on, Blizzard. All right, guys, that was it for for uh, for today's video. Little, like I said, a little bit of a palate cleanser, getting away from from uh, professions and gold making, which honestly has been very depressing. But we'll get back on that wagon soon enough. Um, I'll probably have something out this week that I've been working on. A little bit. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.